All right, guys, so today we're going to talk about a very interesting device. Now, most of you guys know me as the guy that reviews true wireless earbuds or wireless headphones without actually knowing that I personally prefer to use wired headphones. I think even though Bluetooth audio is getting better and better, it still just doesn't compete to just plugging straight into a device. I think having wired headphones is the way to go if you're going to get the most out of your audio. And so that's what makes the amp we're gonna talk about today pretty special. Now the amp we're gonna talk about is the Helm Audio DB12 AAA amp. What makes this amp so special is it is the world's smallest THX certified amp. Now it does come in retailing at $200, which may seem kind of pricey, but if you're already somebody that's using wired devices as far as your audio goes, you know it can get kind of expensive when you want to get a little bit more out of your audio. And especially THX devices, because most THX certified amps are pretty big and they are much more expensive. Now as far as what you're getting inside the box on these, you are getting a carrying pouch, and then you're also getting a USB-C cable because this amp is battery powered. Now it claims that you can get six plus hours of use on the device itself. I only got closer to around five hours. So as far as the battery life goes, I would have liked to have seen it be closer to eight hours. That way you can get a full day's use out of it, especially if you're gonna be somebody that uses it on the job. Now, as far as the connection that the amp uses itself, it uses a standard three and a half millimeter connection. So you can just easily plug this straight into your phone. If your phone still has a headphone jack, I use it for my Nintendo Switch. And then I also use it on my laptop for when I'm watching movies. Most people know with gaming and with watching movies, some Bluetooth devices have lag or have little interruptions here and there. So you don't have to worry about that with using this wired device. Now, as far as the buttons go on the side, you have a switch which basically turns it on and then you can turn it into a base plus mode. So you only have two modes out of this amp, but it's very important that you turn the amp off when you're done using it. Otherwise, it doesn't have like an auto shut off feature. And so the next time you go to use it, your amp will be dead. Now buttons that are on the top of here allow you to play, pause, turn your volume up and down. It allows you to skip your track forward but not go backwards. And then you can also press and hold the middle button to bring up your smart assistant. Now, as far as the controls go, that's pretty standard, but I really would have liked to have seen the ability to go back to the previous track. So as far as what the amp is doing when it comes to listening to things, it is boosting your audio quite a bit when it comes to volume levels. Now it claims that it's giving you plus 12 decibels. Uh, the important thing here is it's not trying to color your audio in any way. I will say that it does boost the mids just a little bit where it's bringing dialogue a lot more forward. So with gaming, that's important. With watching movies, that's important. And then even with listening to music, I felt like the vocalist just came through a lot cleaner. So for you guys that are curious to how much of a difference this really makes, I'm going to play some sound samples where you're going to hear it uh, straight out of the source like it is and then with the amplifier turned on and then I'll even play it again with the bass plus mode so you can hear the difference between all three. But here's some sound samples for you guys to check out here. So now that you've heard some of the sound samples, you can tell that there's definitely a difference when it comes to the volume, but then also in that bass plus mode, you can notice that there is a boost in the low end that you can definitely tell a difference. I found that the impact in bass was much more impactful. It still doesn't distort, which is very important. Most amplifiers just kind of crap the bed when it comes to boosting bass. You start to get distortion where it starts to just muddy up the sound. And I was really impressed with how well this amp handled that. Now, as far as some of my cons, I would have liked to have seen a little bit more battery life, especially closer to eight hours where you just feel like you can get a full day of listening out of it. And then outside of that, the only other complaint that I have is I wish I had the ability to go back to the previous track or start my current track over. So maybe they could add that in a future device, 
But this is a very impressive amp considering the price and being THX certified is very nice in such a small amp. But guys, that's my video on the brand new Helm Audio DB12 AAA amp. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, make sure to stay tuned for more.